Let's return to Sitka, Alaska for more Faith Hunt on Fixing the Money Thing. We're in Sitka at one of the hatcheries where they actually raise the salmon, they get the eggs and raise the salmon. And how salmons operate is they return, try to return to where they were born at. So what we have here is you'll see hundreds and hundreds of salmon lining up, trying to get back into this hatchery. Of course, they can't get back in the hatchery, so they stack up in here. Now, these are pink salmon. There's five kinds of salmon in Alaska. These are pink. These aren't the best eating salmon. They are good. You'll, your canned salmon many times is this pink salmon, um, but usually the sockeye and the silver or coho salmon is the better eating. But you'll see them just stacked up here trying to get in. So. We may catch a couple of these for the fun of it, but we're going out after the uh, halibut and the silver salmon or the coho salmon uh, in the ocean here in just a little bit. But interesting and beautiful country and just salmon everywhere jumping out in the bay here. It's a fantastic sight. Of course, the backdrop of the mountains, it's a wonderful, wonderful place to be. We've been talking about catching fish and your role in the God Factor and you together being a team to do great things. We've been looking at Luke chapter 5 where Peter, of course, and his, uh, his partners had caught so many fish that the nets about broke and the boats about sank. We kind of emphasized and talked about the natural side. They were washing their nets and how they had to prepare for the harvest, how their, their discipline, their, their lifestyle of being disciplined with the common things taking care of their stuff, prepared them, enabled them to actually catch the harvest that changed their life. You know, the Bible goes on in that story in Luke chapter five and says when they caught that many fish, it says they were astonished. Now these were professional fishermen. I mean, two boat loads. Remember Peter asked his partners to come out, two boats about sank and the Bible records they were astonished and they followed Jesus. Jesus called them and they left everything the Bible said and followed Jesus. A very key right here. People need to see astonishing things. You need to see astonishing things. You know, it's amazing. People are discouraged in life and living hand to mouth and just surviving is not very fun, especially when you fished all night and caught nothing. But what encouraged them to leave? What, what, what do you think? Why would they leave their fishing business? Why did Peter James and John leave everything and follow Jesus. Simple question. They saw something they couldn't explain. They were astonished at the kingdom's function. I'm convinced the world does not need religion. It needs to see astonishing things in your life. And also in your life, God wants to do big things so that you're encouraged. Obviously, Peter, James and John they were encouraged. Now later, we'll find the same story happening again after Jesus' resurrection. The disciples thought, it's over, Jesus died. And their whole hope was now vanished. They, they were discouraged. But Jesus, in chapter 21 of, of John, he shows up. Peter's discouraged and tells the disciples, I'm going fishing. They said, well, we're going with you. And they're out fishing, and guess what? They did not catch anything all night, just like the first time they met Jesus. Jesus is on the shore and calls to them and says, cast your net on the right side of the boat and you'll catch a catch. They did that and caught a great number of fish. Now, Peter recognized it was Jesus and swam to shore and they drug those nets in, all those fish, and Peter was encouraged. Why do you think Jesus did that? Why do you think Jesus met them there at the lake, they were discouraged, and again said, catch the fish on this side of the boat? Because he was reminding them of the kingdom the first time he met them, where he called them to the kingdom's operation, how awesome it is. When they saw, again, the same thing happen, they were encouraged. Listen, friend, I'm telling you, Drend and I lived nine years hand to mouth, antidepressants. I was not encouraged. The kingdom of God, when it works, it works. It's supposed to work. The kingdom, just like the Bible says, 
is going to work in your life and you're going to be encouraged. All your friends are going to be encouraged and you're going to see some great things happen in your life as you follow the Lord. Stay with us. Gary will have some closing thoughts from Alaska right after this. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.